Hi guys and welcome to my 2000 subscriber question and answer video. Thank you once again for watching, viewing, subscribing, commenting, etc, etc. And it was a real blast to read <laughs> all of the questions you asked me. Although funnily enough, a lot of you asked like the same three questions over and over again. So sorry if I just get to your question and I'm like, yeah, I already answered that. But that's kind of what happened. Um, so anyway, to start this off, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still sick if you can't tell. Almost better. I'm almost 100% better and I feel a lot better, but my voice is still kind of eh. Um, so to start off, um, the vast majority of you um, put your questions in the comments below my video, but one of you put it on my channel for some reason. I don't know, maybe you watched it on my channel. I guess that's all right. And let's see, Nat2 actually did a video response, which I was really thrilled about because I was like, ooh, video response, I'm so honored. So I'm going to um, start off with those questions and then I'm going to continue around here and work my way up, if that is alright. Of course it's alright, it's my video. Um, <clears throat> so Nat2 starts out with, does she ever appear, uh, does she ever plan to appear on camera? No, I don't really want to make my appearance known to people, not because I think I'm ugly or anything, but just because I, I think that when people have, for instance, when people have been doing something like uh, LPs for a while, people sort of get this, you know, idea of this person in their head, and once you bring a picture to that, your perception completely changes, and... I mean, I guess there's not really anything wrong with that. I mean, you know, I'm still the same person, but it just, I don't know. There, there, there's just something about it that kind of rubs me the wrong way about it. And I kind of don't want to get a bunch of comments from people saying, oh, wow, you're hot, you're cute, you're beautiful, you're sexy. Or, you know, conversely, you're ugly as fuck, I hate you. But... <clears throat> I don't know, I guess, I know I'm making a big deal out of this, but I just I just don't think that appearances really matter, and I'd rather you guys know me for my voice and my personality rather than what I look like. So, no, I, I don't plan to appear on camera, you know, watch, I'll, I'll say that, and suddenly one day I'll, I'll appear. Who knows? But I don't plan to, so sorry. So your second question was, why did she get a Twitter? Well, I've been avoiding Twitter forever just because, I don't know, my my idea of Twitter was that it was, you know, a, a place for people to say really dumb crap because you can't really say that much in, what is it, 150 characters, 100, I forget. Um, but people I know and like keep getting Twitter and then they keep telling me, oh, if you want to uh, be updated on this, you should follow my Twitter, and that, that just kept happening over and over and over again, and finally I was talking to, um, Pa from that guy with the glasses, and he said, oh yeah, I'll, he, he was gonna make a video that I was looking forward to, and he's like, yeah, follow me on Twitter, and I was like, you know what, I should just make a Twitter, why not? So I did, and actually so far I'm liking it. You can't say that much, but it's kind of fun to chat with people, and stuff like that, I guess. So that answers that question. Um, the next question, the one that was on my channel page instead of the comments was from Praetorfarer. And Praetorfarer writes, <clears throat> is there anything you would change in Laura Bow, or is it the perfect game? No, it's far from perfect. I mean, I don't think any game is really perfect, even though I do consider it to be my favorite game, or at least the second one. I'm assuming you're talking about the, sec the second one. Um, now, th there's definitely flaws. I mean, you could see in my Let's Play that there were bugs everywhere, <laughs> and that kind of sucks. I mean, it makes things funny sometimes, but it it's kind of annoying. But something I would like to change in that is um, I would really have liked to get to know some of the other characters or have been able to talk to them before they either die or disappear because 
you know, for instance, Dr. Pippin Carter, you can only talk to him once, and then he dies. Ziggy, he doesn't last for very long. Ryan O'Reilly, you get to see him, like, twice, and then he's gone. We'll find, like, you see once. Olympia, you could see her, like, walking around once after the party, and then that's it. I mean, that kind of annoyed me. I really would have liked to have gotten more of a chance to speak with them because, I don't know, I really like the characters. They're stupid, but they, they're they interesting and they make me laugh and they make the game a lot more enjoyable. So that's what I would change, or that's what I would most like to change. So there's that. All right, now I can start on to here. I see me, and are you going to do the rest of the Ben Jordan games when you feel better? Yes, I definitely plan on doing that. Also, what is your favorite band? Well, right now my favorite band is Muse. I really like them. Um, and I totally skipped you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fail. Uh, it happened because you were awesome and blah, 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 blah. Question. Do you have any games you plan to LP once you feel better? Yes, like Ben Jordan. Um, that's all I have planned for right now, but I definitely want to do some more games. Um, currently doing a joint let's play with Rizulka for <coughs> excuse me for mixed up fairy tales and that's been a blast and of course I'm still doing the joint LP with Crowley. I didn't really intend to do so many joint LPs at once. It just kind of happened because you know I do one with one person then everyone's like oh by the way do you want to do one with me so that's what I've been doing but yeah I do intend to do some more of my own when I feel better and when I finish Ben Jordan. Let's see. Luca Dan, you never did end up asking me a question. How dare you? No, it's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Although most of us have surely have surely played all of them, do you plan on doing the Monkey Island games in the future? The originals, not the remakes, of course. Fun, fun times indeed. I don't plan on playing them just because it's not really a game of my past. I've only actually I've actually only played the first one through once a few years ago. I I never played it until a few years ago and it was really fun, but I just don't really feel right playing a game that has so much nostalgic value for all of you when it has pretty much nothing for me. Good game, but I think you know, if somebody should LP it, it should be somebody else and not me. So, that's just my opinion. Get well soon. Thank you! I'm trying! <laughs> and that should be Toodles, not Toddles, but that's okay. Alright. <clears throat> Darth Helmet asks, why is Darth Helmet 86 the best person you know? Well, Darth Helmet 86 is the best person I know just because your question entails already that Darth Helmet 86 is the best person I know. Question answered. Let's see. Hello, Beakling Chun. Um, have I ever played the Ace Attorney games or the Professor Layton games? No, but I really, really want to. I have heard great stuff about the Professor Layton games, which, as you say, is a puzzle game. I love puzzle games. And Ace Attorney, I've never played it. I've seen a little bit of it, but I've never played it. One of the one of my viewers, I can't remember who you are, I'm so sorry, you actually sent me the game, and then I stupidly realized, oh yeah, it's for a DS, and I don't have a DS. <laughs> And I don't have money for a DS either, so I am I still have it. I kept it somewhere safe, and I'm waiting for, um, I'm waiting to come across a friend who has a DS so I can play it, because I really, really want to play it. And thank you so much, by the way, for sending it to me. But I will one day. I really want to. <clears throat> um, aside from Sierra and Ben Jordan, what are some other good point-and-click adventure games you'd recommend? Let's see, um... Well, obviously, play the Yahtzee games, the Trilby games, the Chizo Mythos games, whatever you want to call them. Those are really good, unless you get scared easily, in which that case you should probably avoid them like the plague. Uh, recently, I played the... what is it? The, the Blackwell games? Rizulka did all of them, I think. They were actually really, really fun. I played those recently. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Other point-and-click adventure games. God, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm blanking out on all of these. Um, LucasArts games are pretty fun, too. I... Ugh, God, I'm sorry. 
I don't know, maybe I'll come up with some later, but as for the ones that immediately come to mind, the uh, Yahtzee games, Blackwell games, etc., etc., um, it's also nice to go to Adventure Game Studio, aka BigBlueCup.com, and check out their website for any adventure games that people make on there. Most of, I mean, most of the stuff people make is kind of eh, but every once in a while you'll find something really, really good. So I would recommend going there. Um, three, do I have any other gaming consoles besides the PC? I have a PlayStation 2, but I actually don't have that many games. I got it, like, right before I went to college, and then in college everyone else had their own consoles with them, so there was no point in me bringing it along, and I got to play everyone else's games, because that saved me the trouble of buying them all myself. But, um, yeah, besides my PC, I just have PS2, and I don't have very many games. Uh, one more question regarding Let's Plays. How do you co-let's play with others? You get Skype. That's how you, you know, you have to get Skype, and the other person has to get Skype, and you both have to have microphones, and then you call each other. And there's also, uh, recently they came out with some kind of video sharing feature, so that's how you can see each other's screens. So it's gotten pretty easy now. I used to do it with uh, the video sharing with um, VNC or with Livestream, but it's laggy as hell. So yeah, try Skype. It's, it's the best one to go. It's the best way to go. <clears throat> Typical Pony asks, how do I feel about the economy? <sighs> That's how I feel. What first got you into video games? Uh, well, when I was really, really little, my dad used to work at IBM, and I guess they had some kind of deal with Sierra or something. I don't know. I can't really remember, but my dad used to bring home all these games home, or he used to bring all these games home from work, like Sierra games and uh, games for children, stuff like that. So my sister and I would play the the children's games. Then we would watch uh, my mom and occasionally my dad play the adventure games. And we got really, really intrigued by the adventure games because we'd be, like, you know, we'd see her type open door and she'd go in the door, and we thought that was really cool. So we kept playing those, and our obsession grew and grew, and that's pretty much the whole story. <clears throat> Kyogiru asks, have you ever played Portal? Uh, the PC puzzle game by Valve, not that C64 text adventure. I have not played it, but I have watched two good friends of mine play it. Uh, well, one of them wasn't a good friend, one of them was New York Defender Talon, but uh, I bought it for my best friend for her birthday or for Christmas or something, and I was like right next to her when she played it. So... That was really awesome. It's a really, really great game. I don't have it myself because, again, I'm cheap and I... Well, not, I'm not cheap. I'm poor. But, uh, yeah, great game. Really, really good game. What is your least favorite King's Quest game? Um, the second one, just because it's kind of boring. I don't know. I mean, I, I used to say three just because it was so hard. But it's interesting, and it's funny. And, you know, 7, it's it kind of starts to, I don't know, get away from the classic Sierra feel, in my opinion. But it's still a fun game. 2 is just kind of, eh, I don't ever really enjoy playing 2 that much. It's more like something to do or something to get out of the way. And 3, what is your opinion on King's Quest Mask of Eternity? Haven't played it, don't want to, it looks terrible to me. I don't even want to go there. And everyone else says it sucks too, except for like a few insane people. Um, Michif, what sort of music do you like? Any favorite artists? What sort of music do I like? I like good music. Yeah, that's very descriptive. Um, I, I do listen to a variety of music. Uh, I listen to some chip tunes. I like listening to piano pieces. I like listening to alternative rock, I guess, and some other, I don't know, a few other genres sprinkled in every once in a while. I tend to be, I, I guess I tend to be uh, drawn to very 
beautiful, tragic sounding music for some reason. I don't know. It can't be cheesy. It just has to be really beautiful. I don't know why I like that, but I do. I have like a ton of music like that. Any favorite artists? Um, well, as I said, right now my favorite band is Muse. <laughs> I also like um, Radiohead. For a while I listened to a lot of Sonata Artica, but I don't really like their new album. Uh, let's see. Who else do I listen to? Come on, Laura. I, list, I like listening to Chopin and Beethoven. I I don't know. I, I like listening to a lot of just random songs, I guess. What are my favorite movies? Um, you know, I used to be really big into movies, but for some reason over the years I've kind of lost interest. But I tend to be drawn to psychological thrillers and... I don't know, movies about insane people or about obsession. I don't know, maybe I'm just a sick, sick person deep down inside. But I love that kind of stuff. Um, my favorite movies are Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which I know contradicts the whole psychological thriller thing I just talked about, but it's a really good movie. And I also like Psycho. Great movie right there. Let's see. Can't remove, probably because it's a repeat. I don't know if you've gotten this already, but I figure I might as well ask. Are you only a PC gamer, or do you play console games as well? Yeah, I play PS2. Um, I've also played Xbox, but I don't have it. I just use a friend of mine's. Uh, if so, will we ever see full playthroughs of console-based games on your channel? Probably not, firstly, because I don't know how to do that, and secondly, because I don't have very many games on different consoles. <clears throat> All right. If you randomly find a gem, would you put it in your mouth? No. That's disgusting. And I might accidentally swallow it. When I was little, I used to put, like, I, I used to, you know, put metal things in my mouth like a lot of little kids did until one day I swallowed a penny. And ever since then, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. And I would not want to do that to a gem. That would be terrible. Uh, what was your reaction to the Rumpelstiltskin in the original King's Quest if you played it? Well, um, when I played the first King's Quest game with my sister, we played the remake. And we weren't sure how to get past the gnome because we were terrible spellers. So we looked at a walkthrough, and it was a walkthrough for both of the King's Quest games, and it told us that the original one was a lot harder but at the same time, I thought it was really cool because it used a code that I like to use all the time when I was little. You know, the A equals Z, B equals Y, C equals X. I used to use that all the time. I could read it really, really well. And I liked that my name was Ozfiz. I thought that was really cool. So I guess it's unfair to use that kind of puzzle. But at the same time, my first reaction was, oh, cool, they used my code. Uh, if Arnold Schwarzenegger came up to you and told you to get to the choppa, would you go to the choppa? Hmm. I don't know, just out of the blue? I think it would depend on the context. Like, if there is... If there is actual... If there is an imminent threat, I probably would. But if he just came up to me out of the blue, I would probably just kind of stare at him. I don't know. I guess I will have to wait and see if Arnold Schwarzenegger ever takes an interest in me, and I really hope he doesn't. Let's see. <clears throat> um, in Laura Bo, Colonel's Bequest, which of the family members would you be, which excludes Laura the dog sleeve Chief's Fifi, and the Jesse guy, so basically all the innocent characters? Um, I would be Lillian. That's just how it is. Not that I want to kill anybody, but I mean, come on, who you, you left me with? <laughs> Everyone sucks in that game except for the people you realized. I mean, the people you realized, the people you mentioned. Why did I say realize? I don't know. Uh, besides English, Japanese, Finnish, and maybe French, what other languages can you speak? Uh, Finnish has two ends, by the way. Um, I don't really speak any other languages. I know a 
few words and phrases in German and even fewer in Spanish and that's it. But you pretty much nailed it here. English, Japanese, Finnish, and French.